So I've been trying to film this for like an hour, but Florida is just playing me. Hi guys and welcome to today's video. So today's video is going to be my review on the new Ariana Grande R.E.M. perfume. And you know your girl had to represent with her ponytail and her sweatshirt, so it's a vibe. After the review, I will also be going over Cloud, Thank You Next, and R.E.M. and ranking them as well as comparing them in case you are not sure which of the three you want to buy or maybe you want to buy all three so that will be at the end of the review so here is the box and i did pick up the 100 ml of this you could pick this up at ulta the 3.4 fluid ounce or 100 ml retails for 64 dollars the 1.7 fluid ounce or 50 ml retails for 54 dollars and then the one ounce or 30 ml has been sold out <laughs> that retails for $44 and I believe there's also a travel spray so here's the box and it's got Ariana Grande and then REM on the front basically REM stands for rapid eye movement which is the stage in sleep when you dream the most vividly and this perfume was released after her REM song so she does have a song and I think it's important to know that because I feel like this perfume is a vibe like it vibes with like nighttime and it's more of a bedtime fragrance in my opinion so here is the perfume bottle in this really pretty crystal plastic holder it is plastic i think most people know that it's a celebrity fragrance but it is plastic keep that in mind it comes out very easily in mine i saw some people had some trouble i think the smaller ones are probably a little tighter i actually have to pull this out or like pin this down when i spray it because it's, it's kind of loose in mine but the perfume just pops out like this and then here is the bottle i've already put a little dent in her the main accords on this are sweet fruity caramel powdery and aromatic and for me this is aromatic and i really don't pick up any of those other main accords i do pick up a few of the notes on this but it varies between my skin and like on my clothes so the top notes on this are quince fig salt caramel and zephyr so i did have to look up what zephyr is it's like a sweet gourmand scent i'll pop in a picture here and then i'll pop in a picture of quince but it's basically a fruit a type of fruit this doesn't have that zephyr scent to me this doesn't come off very sweet or fruity to me so i don't pull those notes this also has mid of lavender and pear blossom and then a base note of tonka bean musk and sandalwood now this is a perfume that after reading reviews and also discussing it in the fragrance community this perfume pulls different on everyone so it's definitely something you're going to want to test out when i spray this on paper and on clothes i get the lavender the sandalwood the slightest sweetness I get from this perfume on paper and clothes. The sweetness doesn't come off like caramel, it doesn't come off like tonka bean, it's just a very slight sweetness. This perfume on my skin pulls very lavender and sandalwood, but the sandalwood in here is a little bit more like pencil shavings and not like true sandalwood, but yeah, this pulls pretty much like those two notes. This to me is a lighter version of Cloud minus the creamy and the sweetness and then more lavender and sandalwood. And this perfume does to me lean more on a unisex side. This one I would say out of all of them, even Frankie, it leans more unisex. I wouldn't say masculine, I would just say very much a unisex fragrance. If you're looking for sweet, I don't think you're gonna find it in here, but I still think this is a nice bedtime scent. I do feel like it is more of a bedtime scent because of the whole REM and the prominent note of lavender in here. I feel like the lavender in here is more prominent, but it's not overbearing. It's a very nice light scent. I don't really get fig either. Fig tends to pull either very tangy when it's more of the plant or the leaf of a fig or it pulls very coconutty on me. This does not pull coconutty at all. I get the slightest bit of salt, like a pinch of salt in this perfume. For me, I pick up the lavender and the sandalwood. So that's what I get a lot. It lasts until the next day, but more so on my clothes. I wake up and I do smell this on my clothes and bedding the next day. I would say this projects for about the first hour on me and then 
it becomes a skin scent. I don't think it's something that projects in a room, but in a very enclosed space. I had gone into my closet this morning and then closed the door behind me. And when I went back in there like an hour or so later, I can smell it. So I don't think it's as strong as Cloud and Thank You Next. To me, it is more of a bedtime scent, but I kind of feel like that's what she was going for. Cause again, the whole, you know, REM, REM cycle of sleep. So I think it's a nice addition. Uh, it's not my favorite. I, I own all of Ariana Grande perfumes, so it's definitely like in the middle. Definitely not my favorite, but not my least favorite either. And again, it's just to me, if you've ever smelled cloud, it's cloud, leaning more unisex, minus the creamy sweet and more lavender is the best way to describe it. And if you haven't smelled cloud, to me, this smells like a very lavender sandalwood scent. So definitely one you're gonna wanna get your nose on because it's not going to be for everybody. This is not your fruity floral, but I feel like the ones in this line, the cloud, the thank you next and this, they're not your typical fruity florals. If you want that, you're gonna wanna look at her Ari line and those flankers. So again, that is Ariane by Ariana Grande. And let's go ahead and get into the comparison. So first up, we're gonna go over Cloud. And this is what the bottle looks like. And this one is a little harder to pull out. And here's the bottle and it's got a little cloud on top. I've already put the same dent. And that's because I don't need to spray cloud as much as I do with this one. This one, you can go ham and you're not gonna offend anybody. This one, I feel like the longer I have it, the sweeter this scent gets and I don't need as much. It doesn't get cloying, but I just don't need as much of this scent. Cloud. I definitely get the lavender in here, but this is more airy, more creamy. The coconut in here is more of a creamy coconut and sweet but not sticky sweet either there's like a note of whipped cream in here when i describe like creamy and airy think of a cool whip in the tub that's what this reminds me of when i smell it so the top notes on ariana grande's cloud is bergamot pear and lavender and the mid is coconut whipped cream and praline and then the base is woody notes and musk this doesn't really get powdery on my skin and I don't really pick up the praline in this scent like I do in some of my other scents with praline. What I pick up the most is the lavender, the coconut, and the whipped cream from this perfume. And it's again sweet but not sickeningly sweet. And it's unique. And again these are flankers to cloud so you're gonna get the cloud DNA in each of them. This is creamy and fluffy again like the cool whip <laughs> like the one in in that tub like i think of that not that it smells like that but i think of that that's what cloud reminds me of and i i like the packaging on all these but i'm like young at heart i think i'll always be okay then next we have thank you next and here is the bottle it's like a broken heart and this one's newer so i haven't put a dent in it this has x's and o's on the top I had the travel of this and I actually didn't care for this perfume at first and then people kept telling me to like try it more like some of my subscribers were like you don't like um, thank you next it's so good so I always said I would revisit it in summer because I picked this perfume up in winter and I don't know maybe I wasn't craving like coconut scents but guys I pulled this scent out because to me this is probably my most it's not like a real coconut but it's the most coconut scent i have in my collection so i pulled this out to layer with other coconut perfumes that i wanted the coconut to come out more for you know summer and when i spray this it's got like a spiciness i've always said that that i don't care for but then that goes away and then the coconut comes through and it's like a coconut version of cloud i sprayed this to layer and i started really enjoying this perfume on its own and i wonder if the pink rose is what is causing like that pepperiness that kind of tickles my nose because usually it's pink pepper but there's no pink pepper in here but this has notes of pear raspberry pink rose coconut musk and macarons and i pick up the pink rose the coconut the musk and the macarons i do not pick up pear or raspberry like i pick up the raspberry in the background but this is more 
peppery, even though there's no pepper. This is more peppery coconut. There is a cleanness to it. There's no lavender, but I wonder if maybe the musk in here is pulling kind of like that clean musk, like maybe white musk. And then again, it's got a sweetness, which is the macarons. And I didn't like this scent when I first got it. And then again, I started using it for summer and I really enjoy this on its own as well as layering it with other coconut perfumes. It really brings out the coconut in my perfumes. And since there's not a lot of different notes in this one, it doesn't really clash with the, with the coconut perfumes I've tried it with. So when I got REM, I did test it out for the first five days that I had it. I wore it three days, day and night on its own, and then I did layer it with Thank You Next, and this really smelled good. Like it kind of, it brought down that pepperiness and just made it like a clean lavender coconut scent. So this layer together was really nice. And then I also layered Cloud. And when I layered these two together, the lavender kind of brought down the sweetness in Cloud. So this was a really nice layering combo as well. I'm definitely gonna, find use for this one, whether I wear it on its own for like a bedtime scent or I layer it. I'll probably go through this perfume the fastest only because I need so much of it to smell it. I like the scent of it. That's the problem. So that's another thing, guys. I really enjoy the scent of it. I think it ranks lower because it's so soft on me. Like I don't smell it on my skin. I smell it on my bedding and I smell it on my clothes. But even then, I gotta, I gotta spray it a lot to pick it up. And I think that's why I get angry because I do enjoy this scent. I think it would rank probably third place with all of her perfumes if I picked it up a little bit more. And I mean all of her perfumes. But ranking it between these three only and not her other perfumes, I would have to say Cloud is still my number one. Then Thank You Next. And then R.E.M. Again, I enjoy all, all of the scents. I feel like if you're more into fruity florals or like Viva La Juicy and Victoria's Secret perfumes, you're gonna wanna check out her Ari line and she has five perfumes. In this line, she has Ari, then she has Frankie, that one's limited edition. She has Sweet Like Candy, then she has Sweet Like Candy, the Red Hot edition. I believe that one's limited edition as well. And then she has Moonlight. So if you want more of a fruity kind of youthful scent, I would say definitely check out Ari and Sweet Like Candy. And then if you want fruity, but maybe with like a little bit of depth, a little bit of woodiness, not anything crazy, I would say check out Frankie and Moonlight. Yeah guys, that is my review on Ariana Grande's REM perfume. But let me know in the comments below, do you guys have this perfume? What are your thoughts on it? Let's get the comment section going. Also, do you guys have all three? And if so, what is your ranking? But that will do it for today's video. I hope you liked it. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. And if you like me and haven't already subscribed to my channel, I would really appreciate it if you subscribed. Click the notification bell so you know when I upload. And until next time, guys, bye.